Okay, this is an update video on how I've made changes in Frank Forum. But any changes I've made, if you don't like them, I can change what you don't like. That's a really big deal with me, right up there with privacy. Is if it ain't working for you, then I'm going to change it so it will. I can't stand bad website design and bad interfaces. So I don't want to be guilty of the same thing. Now, maybe I am guilty of the same thing, but you know, once the update went through to change this PHPV version, it's in the upper left hand corner, the 3.1.6, there were certain, um, as it were, skins and um, what do you want to call it? Um, options available that weren't available before. So I'm just going to show you what I've selected, and then if you don't like, and I mean it, if you don't like anything about this, just yell at me. Send me a uh, you know a PM. You don't even have to join, or you can be a guest or a member and post right here in admin stuff. That post that you make will stay hidden. I'm the only one who sees it. Okay, you don't have to join to post there. All right, it'll say, oh well, you know your post has to be approved. Well, I'm the one that sees it. Okay, and if you want me to show it and you know vent have your comment be visible just tell me in your post and I'll make it visible okay because as far as I'm concerned we all own this together I'm not like in any kind of authority I just own the board because it's part of my GoDaddy package for free so I'm trying to extend it to others alright so you want something changed let me know this is right now in front of your face is the default that everybody sees it's a new version that's more modern of the PHBBB forums, okay, with the blue and the orange, which is kind of cute. The most significant thing about it is that down here, it's got unread posts, no read, unread posts, forum locked. In other words, it's got a legend at the bottom. The older versions of PHBB don't have this. And the one I had it initially back in August didn't have it. Well, this one does. So this is my default. Okay, it's called Subsilver 2, and you will be able to elect it in your own control panel. Okay, for example, here in this particular version of it, because this is what I'm using, user control panel. All right. And then in this user control panel, board preferences, they're all the same name, but the, the links are in different places. Okay. So then Subsilver 2 is the name of this one that I'm using now, if you like it. But you now have a lot of options. And I'm going to show you those options. Okay. But before I do that, I want to show you the basic outline of this default. First of all, it's a lot easier to read. Okay. You'll notice that even at 100%, the text is much bigger. I was able to change the CSS style sheet on this one. If you like the text bigger on other styles, let me know and I'll change the text size. I like text size being big because I like to sit far away from my machine. Okay? You might like your text size to be small. And if you got Firefox, see this thing? This is 100%. You use the minus sign, which is this is these are all movable icons that you get in Firefox by doing customize. These are all movable icons, and the icons you see up here used to be in here. Okay, so that's how come you see mine there. I just moved them there. Okay, that's the same style as in, you know, old Windows XP, and the same style that's in um, Microsoft Office 2003 and prior. But you can move everything around and create your own menu your way. That's, I'm real big on that. Okay, so if your way is to make the text smaller, see, you could do that in Firefox. You can also do it in Chrome. They have a different method to do it in Chrome, but it's the same idea. All right, so I wanted the default size as 100 to be really big so that you could sit like I am right now, four feet away, and read it. I mean, I still have to use my glasses, but I can read it. All right, that's the first thing. Or the second thing. The first thing was down here is a legend to let you know what these little icons mean. See, this icon here equals this. No unread posts. So you have to waste your time. 
Okay, but here's another time saver, which is why I made this the default. See this here, active topics or unanswered posts? Every single one of the skins will let you do this, but this one makes it real obvious. You've got board index underlined. All the links are underlined in this style on purpose. I made them underlined because sometimes it's hard to know where you got a link. Okay, so active topics, watch this. Click on active topics and all of the topics that are in the board that people have talked about. I'm not the only one now, but it's still mostly me at this point. All these active topics will be there, and then at the bottom, you can say, well, I'll display the post going all the way back, all results, up to a year, two weeks, one month, however long you've been gone from the board. That's the idea, okay? So you got active topics, and any other form you're in, the same feature should be there, okay? In this skin, the, the active topics is real blatant. That's why I like it. So it's easy to know what things are. It's easy to say, oh, notifications, blah, 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 all at the top, underlined. I know what the links are. Okay? That's why I like it. Okay. That's active topics. That's this thing. And it's in chronological order. In other words, the latest topic um, that got added to is this one. And that's the next feature I want to show you. If you hover your mouse over a topic in any of the forums and you just sort of leave it there for a second then you get a sort of preview of the first 250 characters of the first post and the last post so if you think well I don't know if I want to read this because it's kind of a pain to click and then come back click and come back okay fine then hover your mouse over the underline or over the topic name and then you can read what it starts out to be. A good writer of any kind of topic or post is going to put what he means to say first, and then he elaborates on it after. That's how the Bible's written. That's how good writers write. And if I'm a good writer or not, it remains to be seen, but that's the way it's supposed to be. So now you can see the first and most important thing about this topic and why it's new is that I just got from Microsoft today actually an updated way to stop Windows 10 from downloading on my Windows 7 machines so this this topic is about that and it's got a link to the Microsoft site so you can download the the, the update so that you could prevent Windows 10 from downloading that's really important okay and then the last post this thing doesn't work too well yet but you know this is all open source software so it's kind of glitchy alright see the last post I can't move my mouse there the last post just tells you hi I actually did the thing I'm talking about and it seems to work alright so now you know that okay well what about this post on biblical Unitarians are you interested or not well there's your, your little highlight okay so that's the advantage of using active topics. You can see what the topics are. You don't have to go through and mishmash of, well, what forum is it in? Here's the forum it's in, but here's the topic, the latest topics added to. Okay, then you got unanswered posts. Now, this is really a big deal for help forums. And I'm not really a help forum, but it's still sometimes useful to know because usually the newest topics don't have answers to them or replies. So again, you hover over it. Like this is Asok Smith. He's a guy who posts elsewhere on the internet. He came up with like 15 steps on how you go backwards from Windows 10 to Windows 7 or Windows 8. Okay, I found his post. He was posting in computer, net, computer World. I copied his post and I put it here. All right, so it doesn't have any replies yet, so it's fairly new. All right, so all the unanswered posts. So this saves you time when looking at posts. And again, what I'm telling you here is true for any of the forums, or should be. These features ought to be in every forum you visit. They weren't initially in mine, which is why I'm making this video. They are now, okay? Just hover over a topic to find out what it's about. Save yourself time. Okay, so we covered the active, unanswered,
We covered the legend down at the bottom, which is no legend here because it's unanswered posts. So now we're going to go here. And this is a board index, which is a list of all the forums and their subforums. Ideally, you don't want too many on your main page. And so what you do is you create subforums. So like in computer stuff, there's subforums for Apple, Articles, Linux, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So in computer stuff, if you were to click on that, because the two big interests of all my subscribers are going to be computers and God. Okay, so that's why this is designed the way it is. Okay, so now you got that's a forum. That's a whole subforum. You'll notice that this is all grayed out. If you go all the way to the bottom, it's got a much more extended um, what do you want to call it? Legend. Hi, unread posts. And then if it was popular, they'd not only be unread, but they'd be flashing. Okay. And then if you had no unread posts, then it would be flashing gray. Okay, but it's, nothing's popular here. This isn't meant to be a popularity contest. This is meant to be a place where you can slow down and think. Okay, this isn't Reddit. If you want popularity, go to Reddit or to Bleeping Computer. Those are great forums. Okay, but this one, like, what if you want to just read some articles at your leisure? And you don't want 16,000 people posting while you read. Well, there you are. And then here's an abstract that you just hover over the topic and you can say, hmm, okay, I'm not interested. Oh, okay, I am interested. All right? So that saves you time. And again, you have the legend at the bottom, which is a feature of your more modern forums. Okay? And then, of course, you got your jump list. You can jump to any other forum from here. That's typical. That's been around for a long time. And you got your cute little, hi, I want to create a new topic in this forum, the button that you click here. As you can see, this, these are the cuter buttons because this is the turquoise and orange format, which I really like. Okay? I can change the colors on this if you don't like it. I can make a whole brand new style if you, if you want me to. Or I can give it to you and you can make a new style. All right, private messages, log out, we've covered that. So everything, the whole idea is that everything that you really are going to likely want is at the top for clicking. And on top of that, which is kind of unfortunate, it's not also at the top. The legend is at the bottom. Once you get used to what the legend is, then you just look at these little icons, okay, and they tell you, like, this means sticky. And I put little special signs here when I think it's really important for you to look at, but... So you can just hover over it and see it. And you say, well, I don't really want to read more. Oh, I do want to read more. Okay. Saves you time. I'm all about saving time. I'm all about freedom and flexibility. Okay. So then let's say, okay, I want to just go back to computer stuff. And I want to look at the other forums. Okay, we got a forum on Windows 10, 8, 7, Linux, Articles, and, and Mac. Okay, there's nothing in the Mac forum. Okay, articles and debate, you saw. Linux, well, let's just go here. And it should be pronounced Linux, not Linux. It's got one N. Therefore, in modern English, you pronounce it Li. L-I. If there were two Ns, you pronounce it Lit. Okay? Privacy, those are constant announcements. If you need Linux help, and then here it is. Here's the whole post. Just go to Bleeping Computer. They're really great people. Okay? How to install Linux on an external drive. What does that mean? Okay, this is your key to freedom if you're a Windows person. Just install Linux to an external drive. Don't listen to the Linux people telling you you need to put it on an internal drive. Just install it to an external drive. It will allow you to do that. And then you can plug it anywhere, into any machine, anytime. That's true freedom. Okay, Linux for Windows, first and last post. Okay, you see? So these are all the topics, see, topics, topics, all right? So hopefully that makes life better. And then if you're a guest, you'll be told which forms you can post into. And as a guest, you can post into two. You can post in here. See, it says right here, guests and members can post, all right? The other one you can post in is this one, and this gives me a chance to show you another feature. Vote on Windows 10. 
Guests can vote and post in, in this forum. Okay, you don't have to join. All right, now the same features apply. You just hover, all right? But you'll notice since this is a dark, this is called the black um, skin. Okay, well, because it's the black skin, then you get a, a black, like, tooltip telling you what the post is about. See? So that's kind of cool. All right, otherwise, the, the layout is pretty much the same. In my case, I'm signed in as a member, so I can do all of these things. If you were just a guest, you will not be able to edit, you will not be able to delete, and you will not be able to post attachments. I, I can't override the defaults in the pre-programmed PHBB rules, unfortunately. But you can join by using a fake email and a fake name. So that's like always being a guest. I have no idea who you are. I can't track you. Okay? I really can't. I don't know your, your password. If you lose your password, you're SOL because I can't, I can't replace it for you. Okay? If you want to be deleted, just tell me. I can delete you. That I can do. All right? And I do, and I will, without notice, ban spammers, stalkers, and anti-Semites. So if you're one of those, don't come here because you won't stay long. Okay? That's the only warning. Okay, board index. Now we're back to the default. Now let's say, well, you know, Brandon, I don't really like this. This kind of boring and dull. Uh, okay. You can change skins, honey. See this? Board preferences. And in each skin, this link is in a different place, but it's the same concept, the same function. Okay, see this? Board style? In this case, it's subsilver. So let's say we want to go to black, which we just saw. Then you, you click on the word black. You hit the submit button. You wait a few minutes. And this is the black style. Okay, some people really like this. I don't. It's, it's occasionally interesting. Okay, and I didn't customize the PHBB to Frank forum for this one yet. I did customize the others. Okay, so let's say, well, do you have more than one black? Yeah, I do. This one's called Digi. I don't know what for. Okay, that's Digi. Right there, see? I did customize this one last night. It's kind of cute. Okay? And what does Digi look like? Well, Digi is a sort of navy, basically. Board index. Okay, now, here's what I wanted to show you. See this hamburger right here? It's what they call a hamburger. It's very common in websites to put these three lines on there. And it's the new thing with the Edge browser and Windows 10 also. You click on it. There's nothing to tell you that you can do that. You have to just know. All right, so now. Of course, see, that's why I don't like this this formatted. Everything is dark on dark. There's your post, new posts, unread posts, unanswered posts. We saw that before. Active topics. Remember? Active topics. So that you just hover on a topic. Now this time it's going to show up in black. Because if you like a black skin, presumably you want a black tooltip also. Okay? So that's what that does. And then you go to your little head and shoulders here. You click on user control panel, and then you look for board preferences, which in this skin is up here as a tab. You click on it, and you say, well, I don't like this Digi. It's navy blue. It's OK, but I want to try something else. OK, how about Lottie? That's a type of coffee with a lot of cream in it. And then you have to wait. There you go. This is Lottie. And yes, I designed the Frank Forum link in there, too. I designed it in two styles. If you want to go really small, okay. See, if it's really, really small, Frank Forum is up here at the top. If you want to make it bigger, Frank Forum goes down to the bottom. And I love this skin, actually. And then here's a better part about it is that it squinches. 
most all of the skins will squinch and the icon will be in the center the, the, the not icon the little banner okay this is what Lottie looks like okay so now it's also got the hamburger if you want active topics okay now here active topics again but I've squinched it so you can't see everything okay so now see it, it's a different color to fit the skin okay so then you, your active topics unlike the, the first skin are basically accessed by the hamburger your own post, new post, unread post, unanswered post, active topics. And then, of course, you can search. But you can search also just by going up here. Okay. And then you got your members, which I'm not going to show in the video. Okay, because you have to be logged in to know what the, who the members are. Even if we're all using fake names and emails. I'm real big on privacy. You will never know me by another name than Brainout. Okay. First and last post. That way you get to have, you know, ease. All right. Board index. This is what, you know, the Lottie format looks like. Okay. And then your subforums are listed right in here. Like the God Stuff subforum. The topics that are the subforums that are there so far. Others like religion. And then these are the various religion groups inside the religion sub forum they're all forums of their own and then relaxing and hello nobody's posted there much yet selling okay so you can hover on the forum and get a little tool tip the sub forums you can't you have to actually do this like here's the guide stuff okay so you'd have to hover on that. The point is you can hover. Okay. And that's my little toy from when I was a kid. That's why that's there. Reminds me of my favorite kid toy. Still remember how that feels. Okay. So then, you know, blah, blah, blah. Here you are. Active topics same idea okay same head and shoulders same music control panel same board preferences this time as a who's who what's this uh, tab so that was what, what Lottie looks like let's say you want to go to orange this is one of my latest ones I just added and I'm not real keen on the way I did that I might change it but this is the orange. It's called orange. It's more like sunset. Okay, again with the hamburger, active topics, unanswered posts. So if you want to see active topics, here you go. And then you can hover on them. And then it's you know sort of designed to match the color. Okay. So you can you know sort of pre-read what are these topics about and decide if you want to visit them. Okay, and that's the orange skin, and it doesn't have the legend. This is an older skin. It doesn't have the legend, but it does have a cute little robot holding a RAM disk. I mean a RAM chip. Okay, quick links, the hamburger, either one. Search, and you can search these results, or you can search the whole board up here. Okay, your private messages, notifications, who you are, the fact that you're signed in. You won't see this because you're not, you know, administrator of the board. The facts, okay, all of them have these things, these features, just different colors. The layout's a little different. Okay, board index, orange, and when you hover over it, it sort of lights up a little. And then you got your sub forums which are each links that you hover on. Basic rule of thumb anywhere on the internet today, they won't underline links. Okay? You're supposed to just sort of guess what's a link. And the point you need to know is pretty much anything is a link. 
So when you're reading, what you learn to do when you read is you learn to use your mouse. The other thing you can do, and this is true here and everywhere else on the internet now, use your tab key. And your tab key, of course, is kind of hard to see sometimes. Your tab key will take you to the first link on the page, which really isn't true. Okay, let's do this here. I'm hitting the tab key now. You see a very faint lighting up of a square around the robot. That's because that's a link. Your mouse, however, changes to a hand in most setups. I mean, I've customized my mouse, and you might have too. But most of the time, we have a hand for, hi, this is a link. This is a link. This is a link. This is a link. But you'll notice there's nothing to tell you that they're links. OK, so you learn to read with your mouse. And if you're not sure where the links are, then hit your tab key. And if you keep on hitting it, it'll go in order from wherever your mouse began, like here. Now I'm up at the top left corner. I hit, and there's a very faint line telling you, hi, that's a link. Then I hit the tab key again, and I don't know where it went. I can't tell. This is, this is, this is modern website design. It's really crummy that they don't make obvious what, where the links are. OK? Um, but what you need to know is that's a link. That's a link. You hover over it. You get some information. OK, you're supposed to, except that the information is spelled out here. That's a link when it says subforum. Each one of those subforums are links you can click on them. Again, this is not only true of my forum, but any forum. This is how they're all designed because they're all using the same software. Okay? And then these little babies are supposed to like tell you um, they light up in green on this skin. They light up in green if there are new posts. But you could just click on this active topics and see what the posts are. These in this skin light up in green when there are new top when there are new posts, okay? That you haven't read yet. That you personally haven't read yet. Okay, so now we go to the next skin. Board preferences again. In this case, board preferences is a tab. And what do I want? Simplicity. I like this one. Simplicity is next. It changes to green and gray. And yes, I customize this. I don't like when I do it really small. I've got Frank Forum that's kind of dull and boring. I'll probably fix that someday. But when it's over a hundred when it's at a hundred percent or better, it looks kind of cute. Okay, it changes to match the colors. Okay, and this one will squinch also. But you'll notice you got the same hamburger, same active topics. Okay. The font's a little smaller. I might increase that font size. See? This one's a lot cleaner. This of all the skins, this one's probably the cleanest and easiest to read at a distance. Okay. But like many of them. The links are not underlined. So I either have to make the link explicit, or you have to just figure if it's green, it's a link. OK? This is a video I just made yesterday on how Microsoft gave you um, an update so you can stop Windows 10 from downloading. OK? That, that's a topic I really think you ought to read if you've not read it already. OK? Because that will prevent a lot of headaches. OK, so these are the active topics. OK, what if you wanted something other than active topics? You want unread posts or unanswered posts, let's say. Unanswered means that it's been posted, but it's probably new because nobody's replied yet. There you go. OK, and again, you come all the way down here. You can sort by topic, what forum it's in, the post time, the author, or the subject. That's unique to this skin is the ability to sort like that. It might be unique to the skin, because I don't remember seeing it elsewhere. But there's no legend, OK? 
in this particular scan, these things, these gray, means that there's nothing I haven't read. It lights up to a sort of brown, a sort of sienna brown, okay, when there's something new. So it's kind of easy. It's kind of easy to read, kind of easy to know. And again, if you're in a topic, you just, you know, hover. Hover over links that you don't know are links, but you're supposed to know are links if you're familiar with forums. Okay, that's the way this thing goes. The same thing is true of the topics. So when you get into Bible stuff, and then you've got a topic, then that there's a little tooltip that tells you the first 250 characters of that topic. Same thing here. Except it's got first post and last post, so it's double. Okay? So hopefully that makes your life easier. Now, I haven't shown you all the skins yet. So let's go through the last of the skins. Okay? Board preference is still a tab in this one. Simplicity is what you're seeing on screen. Now let's change to the default Pro Silver, which is the sort of like the most common format for all forums. Going back to PHP BB3. Okay. Blue. Obviously, I could just customize this. Okay, board index. Okay, this is what you're used to seeing in pretty much every forum you go to. If it's not red, it turns red when there's something new in it. Okay. And it highlights up in yellow when you hover. Learn to hover with your mouse. That's how you find out where the links are. It's the only way you find out where the links are. Fortunately, they light up when you hover on them. Now, I, I don't know how to override that. Okay. Now, here's the hamburger again. You click on it, active topics, and there you go. Now, here's the interesting thing is, since I started, there's red here. And I just hover, and this tells me the first and last post. Wow, there's a lot of red here. Okay. I think red here means that I posted in it. So if you posted, you see red. Because these are all my posts. So I guess that's what red means. That doesn't mean unread. Red means you posted there. Okay. There you go. All right, so that's what the Pro Silver skin is. And yes, I just changed the moniker, the what do you want to call that thing, the logo. All right, so this is Pro Silver. And then this one is another version of Pro Silver. It's called Special Edition, and it's a kind of gray. You have to wait. And there you go. And I added this last night. I thought that was kind of cute. Okay. Because its main colors are gray and red and blue. And so I wanted to add a little green in there to give it a little oomph. And here's what its board index looks like. And for many, this will be easier on the eyes. It's like Pro Silver, but it's got a lot of gray in it. Gray and green make life easier on the eyes. Again, the hamburger. Again, active topics. Okay. Again, if you posted there, it'll have a little red thing there saying you posted. And then if you hover over the topic, you see the first and last post if there is a last post. Okay. And decide if you want to go in and read it or not. All right. There you go. So they're all really similar. There's no legend here either. The only one that has a legend is the one, the default. Okay, which is where we'll go back to and finish off this video. Board preferences. Back to the skin again. This is what you see when you first sign in. Not that. You'll see it in a minute. This. Okay, 
This is what it looks like when you first sign in at 100. Okay, this one alone has the legends. So if the legends are real important to you, then you're going to want to stick with Subsilver 2, which is the default here. The default that most users have is Pro Silver, not Subsilver 2. Let me show you. Board preference, it's always the same name. Most of the users are using this version because that was the version I started with. Okay, most people, this is what they got. And instead of it saying Frank Forum back last August, it had PHPVB. I've customized this part now. All right, this is what most people are seeing. I find that very hard on the eyes. Okay, so you have alternatives now. Board preference, that's their skin choice. Board style, that's your skin choice. And now you've seen the different choices. Subsilver 2 is the new default. that you can stick with or not. And this is what you'll see when you're signing in. Only you're going to see it at 100% like it is now. With the legend at the bottom and with all this business about active topics and unanswered posts all nice and linked, you don't have any little hamburger to guess at. So that's it. If you see anything I've missed to say that I should have said, let me know.